Here are four boxing drills that you can do from home that you don't need any equipment for. Whether you're a beginner at boxing or you've been boxing for some time and you want to switch things up in the house, this is perfect for you. I recommend you do each one of these drills for three minutes and you can go at your own pace. Now, when I do drills like this, I like to wear boxing gloves because it's just more realistic. But you don't need them, so don't worry about it. Drill number one, we're going to throw a one, two, then roll step, two, hook, two. And we'll add on to this in a second. But again, one, two, roll step, two, hook, two. If you notice when I'm throwing that one, two, I'm turning me hips and fully extending me arms. Then when I'm stepping, I'm keeping me feet apart. And as soon as the front foot lands, I'm firing back with the two, hook, two. Start off slow, and then you can always pick up the speed. Now we'll add on that. We're going to throw the one, two, that lovely roll step, two, hook, two. From there, we're going to step back with the uppercut, hook, two. Now, footwork is huge when you're doing this because you're doing these steps. And it's important when you're stepping, you're keeping your feet apart. You never want to bring your feet together or you're going to go off balance. So you've done that nice one, two, that roll step, two, hook, two. Step back, uppercut, hook, two. Drill number two, we're going to throw a one, two, lead hook slipping forward coming back with the lead hook so we throw that one two the weights on the front foot we throw that hook the weights come back to the back foot then from there we slipping forward putting the weight back on the front foot loading up for that next hook hook it's all about the weight transfer when you're doing this because what that's going to do is help develop good habits to increase the power of your punches now what we're going to do we're going to add on that we're going to do that one two lead hook slip forward we on the front foot, lead hook again. Then from there, we're going to slip forward again. This time, we're going to do a lead hook to the body. So it'll look like this. One, two, hook, slip forward, hook, slip forward, hook the body. A little bit faster. Now, it's important when you're slipping, you're slipping just enough as if a punch could go past your head. You don't want to be going too far down or you're in an awkward position. Or the opposite of that, you don't want to be not slipping at all where your head's on the same line because that's where you get hit. About six to eight inches over, putting the weight on the front leg, and then boom! Then from there, leaning over again, then whipping in that body shot. Drill number three, before we get to the super advanced one in drill number four, what are we going to do? You're going to throw that one, two. As that two's come back to your face, your lead uppercut's going to come out. Then from there, your rear uppercut's going to come out. Then from there, you're going to throw two hooks to the body. So it'll look like this. <laughs> Again, the weight transfer is important. I feel that one, two, the weight's on the front foot. I'm bringing the two back to the face at the same time as the lead hand's coming out, up the middle, then the weight goes to the back foot. From there, I'm bringing the lead hand back to the face and I'm transferring the weight to the front foot. Then from there, I'm gonna bring this back to the face, whip in that hook to the body. I'm not transferring the weight back. Then from there, whip in the other hook to the body. And it's important when you're throwing these uppercuts, it's coming straight through the middle. I don't wanna throw it over there, or over there, but straight through the middle. So it's covering my face. Then the other one, straight through the middle. And as this is coming back to the face, that's when we're going to kind of lean over with our front shoulder to whip in that hook the body. So it's there, this is coming back, we're leaning over, putting the weight of the front foot to whip in that body shot. And from there, this is going to come back to the face as we throw that too. But what we're not doing here is transferring the weight that we've done on all of the other times. So you've done the uppercut, hook to the body, then this is coming back to the face, hook to the body. Keeping my back foot off the ground while we throw this second hook to the body. And the weight's staying forward. But you would still, in a fight, get lots of power in this. And then it'll look like this. One, two, up, up, hook, hook. One, two, up, up, hook, hook. Now the last one, which is more advanced, and it might take you a little bit more time to do. But before I tell you about that, one thing I just want to see, if you're interested in really perfecting your punches, if you want to do this much better, you should use the ideal punching method. This is where you've got to identify the mistakes that you're making. So when you are doing these in the house, if you're recording yourself, you could be able to see what you're doing right and wrong. And then you'd be able to drill out the bad habits, then reevaluate, analyze, and then level up. And I've created a free system on showing you exactly how to perfect your punches. It's a free video package with free workouts, with free downloadable material, no strings. All you've got to do is click the link below or scan here and I'll send you this straight away and it'll really help you perfect your punches when you, whether you're working out at home or at the gym. Now, let's talk about drill number four, the advanced one. You're going to throw a one, two, step back, uppercut, but from there, as this comes back to the face, you're going to throw a pivot hook change the angle completely 
and then step forward with a one, one, two. A little bit faster. So breaking this down, I feel that lovely one, two. As the tongue's coming back to the face, that's when I'm stepping back, throwing that uppercut like we did earlier on. As this is coming back to me face, I'm putting pressure on the front foot as I, my back foot whips around, keeping that line in between me feet. Then from there, I'm stepping forward with a one, one, two. One more time. One, two, step back. Uppercut coming straight through the middle. It's coming to the face. I'm whipping around with a pivot hook. One, one, two. But to have success with this combination, you need to really understand the pivot hook. And I've created this video right here showing you exactly how to throw the pivot hook with no equipment to perfection. Click here and watch this video next.